It doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop with Rashard Brooks. You have two other black men that were lynched. Their bodies were found hanging from trees. This is two weeks apart. Now, okay, so May 31st and June 10th. Look, let me show you. Two black men were found hanging from trees within two weeks. Th this is 2020. You read this headline. You, you, I can't tell if this is from 2020 or this is from 1870. Malcolm Harsh, his body was found on May 31st. Okay. And Malcolm Harsh was 38 years old. Right. So they found his body in Victorville. This is in Los Angeles. And May 31st, what, that's like two weeks ago. Correct. So, I mean, th this is this is absolutely insane. Look, he hanged himself with the USB cable. Do you believe that that he hanged himself? Honestly, he was found with blood on his shirt. His family saying, "We feel that our brother's death will be waved off as a suicide to avoid any further media attention." I agree. That's what they're doing, right? Malcolm had very recent uh, conversations with his children about seeing him soon. He didn't seem to be depressed to anyone who truly knew him. Everyone who knew our brother was shocked to hear that he allegedly hung himself and don't believe it to be true, as well as the people who were there when his body was discovered. There are many ways to die, but considering the current racial tension, a black man hanging himself from a tree definitely doesn't sit well with us right now. We want justice, not comfortable excuses. I mean, they're 100% right. This is... Man. Of course the police are going to say, oh, it's death by suicide. Because they don't want more protests. They don't want more backlash on top of what's already happening. They have every incentive and motive to cover this up. You know, it's not crazy to, to think that. Again, this is from ABC. Shocking discovery near the Victorville Library. That's where they found the body of 38-year-old Malcolm Harsh. Deputies say his body was discovered back on May 31st near a homeless encampment. Investigators now say foul play is not suspected, but they say the cause and manner of death are still under review. Near a homeless encampment. Investigators now say foul play is not... So there you go. That's Malcolm Harsh. But he's not the only one. So now on June 10th, this is five days ago, last week. They found Robert Fuller. All right. He's 24. But this is, in, this is in Palmdale, also in California, right? So Palmdale. This is what's crazy. They found him outside the city hall. The city hall. And conveniently, there's no security camera footage. Nothing. How, how do... How does that happen outside the city hall? And they have no evidence, no footage from nothing. You don't think that's a bit suspicious? And once again, they say suicide. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Fuller's family and loved ones do not believe he killed himself. One of his friends from high school, Tommy Anderson, told the LA Times that the tree where Fuller was found was too thin to have supported his weight for very long, and he was too tall for his body to have dangled from his lower branches. So, Anderson also expressed skepticism that Fuller would have been out that late. For people to say he did this, this wasn't Robert. For him to tie himself to that tree, it's not possible. Okay, so, once again, just like with, with uh, Malcolm Harsh, Robert Fuller, his family, his friends also saying, nah, they don't think he did it. They don't, they don't have any reason to believe that he did it. Somebody on Twitter... I, Nicole Dome says, you're telling me there's no footage at City Hall, near the fire station, a church, the Palmdale Chamber of Commerce, small businesses, there's a 7-Eleven. Come on, man. I mean, this, this is, it, it, it don't sit right with me. I don't believe that either. I think that's nonsense. There you go. That's, that's Robert Fuller on the right and, and Malcolm Harsh on the left, right? So I put them in the thumbnail so you could, you could see them because, you know, they're, they're all the attention now is on, um, on Rashard Brooks, but people also need to pay attention to this because this is fucking outrageous. I mean, I can't believe that this is not on the front page of every news outlet. How the hell do you have two black men uh, hanging themselves, allegedly? They were lynched within two weeks during enormous racial tensions and no one is talking about it.
You don't think that's a bit suspect? Man. This does not sit right with me. I mean, nah, nah. This, this is, there's something fishy about this. Their families and friends themselves are telling you that's not, that they don't believe they had any motive to, to, to kill themselves. Robert Fuller and, and Malcolm Harsh. Okay? Take it from them. They know them. That's their family. That's their friends. Do you understand? They know them. It's not my word. But on top of it, during this period right now, you don't think it's a bit suspect? This is uh, really sad and, and uh, gut-wrenching stuff, man. It really is. The, the cops, they have every incentive to cover it up, don't they? Right? I mean, let, let's just say that they, they were lynched, which I think is the case. Why would, why would the police... The ones committing the oppression, the ones who are at the epicenter of these protests, the ones that people are protesting against, the ones committing the brutality against blacks, they have no incentive whatsoever to give you the truth. Of course they would cover it up. Dude, we're, we're talking about the LAPD. This is like one of the most... <laughs> this is one of the most corrupt police departments on the face of the planet. They are guilty until, until proven innocent. That's, that's what I think of the LAPD. And, and all of these... Uh, police departments, right? They're always escalating instead of de-escalating. They are always being inflammatory, being the first ones to commit acts of violence, killing unarmed civilians. I mean, this is, this is out of control. This is completely out of control. You have a paramilitarized band of, of thugs and, and cowboys, you know, running around trigger happy. And, and even when they don't have their guns out, they're just, just literally choking uh, blacks in broad daylight. I mean, this... Uh, man... What the fuck are you waiting for? I mean, what more evidence do you need? You are being ignorant on purpose at this point to deny that there is a culture, that there is systemic oppression going on. You're doing that on purpose now. I mean, I, <laughs> what more do you need after George Floyd? And this shit? People being lynched? What the fuck? What century are you people in? I'm really worried. What fucking century is the United States in? Are you in the 18th century? What is wrong with you? Have you not progressed from, from the fucking Middle Ages? What are you doing? I mean, not that it was right back then either, but you know, you expect that the, the, the world's foremost superpower that claims they're the beacon of justice across the goddamn planet would be doing better than this, no? What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ. You know, it's insane. Like, it, even... When the whole country is on fire because people have had enough of this brutality, they just keep going. They don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm absolutely speechless. I really don't know what to say.